In one of our last videos, we've talked about the difference between blockchain and artificial intelligence. This video is about what happens if you combine those two new technologies. If you take the best out of the world of blockchain and the best out of the world of artificial intelligence. What are the advantages of artificial intelligence? Well, artificial intelligence is good to gain knowledge. So what the computer has become really good at is recognizing patterns, patterns for example. So what he's really good at is you give him a big set of data and he finds important information from this. So you can use now artificial intelligence for pattern recognition, for picture recognition. So for example, you give the computer a whole set of cat pictures and like 10,000 cat pictures. And then afterwards you train him and when the computer sees the cat picture, he knows again it's a cat. So pattern recognition, voice recognition, picture recognition, all those things are served by artificial intelligence. And then there's blockchain. And please watch the video about smart contracts because what we're going to talk about is a lot about smart contracts. So the idea that you have contracts on a blockchain the advantage of this is that those contracts can't be changed afterwards. So for both sides, it's good to have an agreement on the blockchain because both sides at the beginning want that this contract is being fulfilled. The second advantage of uh, a contract on a blockchain, a smart contract, is that it can be fulfilled automatically. So if something happens, then person A or person B gets the result of the contract. So that's the big advantage of having contracts on a blockchain actually. But what happens if you combine those two technologies? Well, I want to talk about two companies at the start or two projects at the start. Singularity.net and Fetch.ai. Those are two different use cases which combi combine already artificial intelligence and blockchain in a very distinctive way. Singularity.net was founded uh, by a very famous AI specialist. And the idea is that they form a marketplace, a marketplace for artificial intelligence applications. So what they provide is A, the marketplace itself, and B, also the software behind it, the norming of everything, so that all those applications can work efficiently together. So what you can do there is, you can program, for example, an application for recognizing cats on pictures. Another person can program an application which can recognize sound patterns. And then another person can program a software which can recognize patterns in movies. And maybe this application uses already your application. So what you can do is you can take all those modules and you can combine them. And why is this a marketplace? Because now people can use those programs and they are paying for those programs. And the marketplace is set up like this, that they are smart contracts in between. So when you pay for one service and this service consists of many modules, then not only the owner of the service gets some money, but also the owners of the other services. So there are smart contracts, which also define who gets what in between. That's why there is this combination. So the goal of this marketplace is to get the best artificial intelligence software out there actually. And to value, to give value to programming good applications and to give people who program those applications the possibility to earn actually money. So by giving this ecosystem, by establishing this ecosystem, uh, the goal is to have better and better artificial intelligence programs. 
One more thing, you can also buy the coin. So there is an own coin by singularity.net, which is being used for those smart contracts, which is being used to pay for the services you are buying on this marketplace. So there is also a sort of speculation there and you can always criticize speculation in the cryptocurrency world. But I think with Singularity Net, there is also this very practical use case where you are paying actually for programmers for their work for establishing good software for artificial intelligence. This is not an advice to invest in it, make up your own mind. But I think it's a very interesting project which is combining blockchain and artificial intelligence. The second project we're going to talk about is Fetch.ai and Fetch.ai does something quite similar actually. So it also combines artificial intelligence with blockchain technology, but it has more distinctive use cases, I would say. So Fetch.ai has big partnerships already with Bosch, for example, or with Telecom, so they are really in a big company ecosystem integrated already. And they have some really interesting use cases on their website, for example, concerning smart city. So they bring this example of when you're looking for a parking lot and the machine knows already where are free parking lots, so it tracks where you are, it tracks what parking lots are free, and so it can improve the efficiency of our cities. Or another one would be the tracking of goods which are being shipped all around the world through sensors. So what they are already doing is they're combining all our sensors. They are combining our sensors with artificial intelligence with also um, remuneration, so payment also over the blockchain. So the strength of Fetch.ai is that they have really strong use cases, they, that they have really good projects, so go to the website and check it out, and that they are already working together in this big field of huge companies which are also improving all this technology. So those are two different technologies. I want to talk about uh, one more thing when combining artificial intelligence and blockchain technology. Because what I always was wondering when I thought about smart contracts, a smart contract is only useful if it can measure something. For example, we cannot use a smart contract for, I don't know, our business meetings yet. When we have the contract, well, if you're late, you have to pay one euro or one dollar into a special box, for example. Um, so you have this contract because you want people to be on time on meetings. What you could do is you could have one person who is like the sheriff and he looks at the watch and if people are on time, uh, then he says, well done, uh, you can sit down. If somebody comes late, um, he tells the person to pay the euro. Contracts are useful when people don't want to act according to their agreement. So what you could do is with this sheriff, everybody gives him already one euro. And those people who come on time, you get the euro back. Those people who are late don't get the euro back. And that's what a smart contract does basically online. So you can make an agreement. If the agreement is fulfilled, one person receives the money. If the agreement is not fulfilled, the person doesn't get the money back. But this only works if the smart contract can measure if this agreement is fulfilled. And this is where artificial intelligence is going to be coming in in the future. Because what artificial intelligence can do actually is it breaks down this barrier. It breaks down this barrier between our real world and the data world. So with all those sensors, all those sensors are getting more and more powerful. For example, you could have now cameras in the meeting room, which track automatically who enters the meeting room and who doesn't. So you could, on the blockchain, block some money. And if people are on time entering the room, then they are getting the money back from the smart contract. If they are late for the meeting, the camera 
the artificial intelligence would recognize this immediately and it would trigger the smart contract to uh, transfer the money, the electronic money to a different wallet. So you can already have this ecosystem combined. So I think this is going to be the future that more and more artificial intelligence applications are going to be performing in our real world, are going to collect data from our real world. And in combination with smart contracts, this is going to level us up to a whole new level because we don't need lawyers so much. We don't need judges so much because the smart contracts are going to decide. People are going to use smart contracts because it gives them trust. It gives them trust that if the service is fulfilled, if the job is done, they will receive their money automatically by the smart contract. If the contract is not fulfilled, then the smart contract is going to recognize this and the consequences are going to be fulfilled automatically. And this is a huge shift, I would say. This is going to come in the future. This is what makes this topic so exciting for me because artificial intelligence and blockchain technology is going to integrate, is going to merge, and we're gonna see a lot of use cases with this. So what do you think? What could be possible use cases when combining those interesting technologies? How can we see the integration of blockchain technology and artificial intelligence? Let us know in the comments below what interesting use cases you can think about. See you in the next video.